clearly, one of our fundamental concerns in setting up a CCTV system is the extent of the area captured by the camera, the field of view as it's known. There are several ways we can modify this, by zooming in or out, changing the camera lens or moving the camera to a different position. When you're evaluating how great a field of view you need, it's important to ensure that all the necessary detail is included within the frame. If subjects are static or their movement is constrained within a particular area, then you can use a smaller field of view. But if the subject is able to move over a larger area, we'll need to increase the field of view so as to capture all the activity. But before deciding on a greater field of view, you need to remember that this has one undesirable side effect. It leaves fewer pixels available to build the image of the subject. This in turn means the image looks blocky or blurry and the subject may be harder to identify. One way to solve this problem and maintain observation of a large area without reducing the resolution of significant details is to use a pan, tilt, zoom or PTZ camera. This allows the operator to follow the subject and maintain detail. With a zoom capability, the observer can increase and decrease the field of view as desired. But here again, there's a potential drawback you need to bear in mind. Once the operator's zoomed into a particular part of the scene, he may be unaware of some other activity of equal importance within the wider area. If there is a possibility of simultaneous activity within the larger field of view, another solution is to use multiple cameras to focus on different parts of the scene. This enables the observer to maintain uninterrupted overall coverage with a high level of detail. It's also important to be aware of the aspect ratio, which defines an image in terms of its height as compared to its width. The most frequently used ratios are 4x3, for many years the standard for television, and 16x9, a widescreen format that's becoming increasingly common. As CCTV technology advances and other aspect ratios become available, this becomes an increasingly important topic for consideration. Each format has its advantages, depending on the requirement. If your main concern is perimeter protection, for instance, you may find that a landscape-style field of view is preferable. This cuts down the proportion of sky in the image and provides a wider, horizontal field of view, which means that you won't need so many cameras to cover the perimeter. If you're observing a doorway, then a portrait-style field of view may be better. But whichever ratio you choose, it's important to maintain it throughout the system from camera to monitor. If you don't, the image will be stretched or squeezed. At best, these distortions will make the subject appear unnatural. And more seriously, they can make it harder to identify an individual or a vehicle. As you can see, field of view is an important consideration and it should be carefully specified in the operational requirement. Ask the question, is my scene appropriately framed so as to give my observers the best chance of getting an accurate image of the activity in question?